Hello everyone, welcome to Gearpedia. In this video, I am going to discuss about the skill test that is going to be conducted for uh, Junior Intelligence Officer in Intelligence Bureau. So we all know that the result, uh, written in our test result uh, has been announced to the next stage with the skill test. Right? Uh, so in, in skill tests, whatever the branch you are from, electrical or electronics or computer science background or IT, whatever it is, all of you might have been done basic electrical engineering laboratory experiments in your college. Mostly from electrical side, I'm speaking, most of the skill test questions or task, I, I won't say it is a question, it is a task. Almost all the tasks will be from that BW lab experiments, basic electrical engineering laboratory experiments. In basic electrical engineering lab, uh, electrical engineering lab, you might have been seen the resistor, inductor, capacitor, voltmeter, ammeter and water meter, transformer, motor, right? So, uh, the questions will be or the task will be like uh, uh, and uh, he, will, he will ask you to verify uh, one theorem, not one theorem in electrical laboratory, right? That will be one question. And another, another task will be, another task will be, uh, he will give you the equipments, necessary equipments, he will ask you uh, to go for the uh, resonance condition. Resonance condition, series uh, RLC resonance condition. At series RLC, you know that uh, uh, if XL is equal to XC, resonance will occur. He, he may ask you to do that task there. Or uh, if you go to DC motor, he may ask you to speed control the DC motor. He may ask you, the task will be to speed control the DC motor, right? Or uh, there will be an old meter, there will be an ammeter, there will be a watt meter. By with help of ammeter, they may ask you to measure the current uh, in, in AC circuit or DC circuit. If it is a DC circuit, we have to take a PMMC. So, there, there is a meter. On the meter, some symbols uh, will be mentioned uh, to recognize whether that meter is used for DC or AC. And watt meter connections are very important. How will you connect watt meter in a circuit? There will be four points M, L, C, B. So, which point where you are going to connect? Right? And when you are taking a reading, uh, there will be some error like analog error. Suppose uh, if there is an ammeter, a voltmeter, or a wattmeter, if you see from left side, the reading will look one, one way. If you see from right side, the reading will look one way. If you see from top side of it, the reading will be in another way. So how to eliminate the parallax error from where you are going to see the reading? So this kind of task, this kind of task, there will be transformer, auto transformer, transformer, auto transformer. Right, uh, and uh, in motors, there are in DC, there are different different types of motor DC series motor, shunt motor, compound motor, right? And there will be induction motor, yes, induction motor, yeah. In lab, we can find synchronous motor, generators mostly we won't find in lab. So, I'm taking the very first uh, equipment that is uh, resistance, uh, that, that is uh, resistance, and uh, in fact, uh, there are two types of resistance is possible fixed resistance and variable resistance. Uh, so, if it is a variable resistance, see, uh, in electrical laboratory, resistor look like this, resistor look like this. Okay. So, uh, I'm taking variable resistance here. So, the normal circuit symbols are these, circuit symbols are these to represent variable resistor. Uh, we know separate symbols, but practically it might look like this. It is a very big thing. It's a very big thing. There will be a sliding contact. There will be a sliding contact uh, with which you are, you are going to vary the resistance. Vary the resistance. Where to connect? Suppose if you want to connect uh, this resistance in some circuit, how to connect? How to connect? Which points are going to take up uh, to connect? Right? So that is uh, means uh, suppose uh, uh, he, he may ask you, there is a circuit in that I want to reduce the current, uh, then uh, use resistance to reduce the current. So take the resistance, connect it, how to connect it, where to connect it, and uh, how to vary the resistance on all, maybe one task, right? Yeah, that is resistance. Next is uh, inductor, yes, next is inductor. There are two types of inductors, one is uh, L core inductor, yeah, you see here core, core is uh, nothing, A core inductor. Here, uh, we made the inductance coiling on some core, it is called as magnetic core inductor. So, let me give you a task to pick up a magnetic core or air core inductor, right? And uh, what is the, see, the, the, in, uh, I told you like uh, in series analysis circuit to obtain resonance, definitely inductance is required. So, how much inductance you are going to take, uh, what value, how you are connecting, those things are very important, right? And uh, next equipment is capacitor for condenser. Suppose uh, if there is a fan, they, they will keep on fan, they will keep on fan and uh, they will ask you to do the connection of this capacitor to the fan, 
this capacitor to the fan. A fan, uh, suppose ceiling fan is there, ceiling fan, I am talking about ceiling fan, and a ceiling phase induction motor, ceiling fan without uh, this condenser will not work, will not work, it will not start. So, which rating you are going to pick up? There will be different, different ratings. Which rating you are going to pick up? And how you are going to put the connection, that connection is important, right? This is about the capacitor. So, this way, see, uh, this. Uh, in, in this video is general introduction means uh, what are the kinds of experiments we do uh, and I can say fluorescent lamp will be there, fluorescent lamp or uh, we, we simply call it as uh, our tube will be there, tube light, uh, how to make the tube light connection, there will be choke, these days we are not getting any choke in tube lights but uh, uh, olden days uh, choke was there, how to connect the choke in tube light, tube light, tube light connection, right, tube light connection is one of the very important uh, 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 task uh, which can be asked uh, from electrical engineering point of view in uh, GOIB, yes, General Intelligence Officer, uh, Intelligence Bureau, right? Yeah, so this is of all to be done. There are different, different symbols that uh, we take in here. See, not me, that fellow. See, see. suppose uh, here in, in this way it is mentioned, it is, uh, uh, it is uh, the meter which is to measure the uh, alternating quantities, AC volt meter, that is. Suppose uh, it is like this with a dot, dot, dots, it is a uh, DC volt meter. Suppose uh, it is having both. Uh, so it can be used for AC as well as DC. For both it can be measured, right? And after that, if it is a very, if it is a, let's see, very small voltage in terms of millivolts it is measuring, then this is a DC in millivolts. That will be mentioned. Suppose so in this way, MA is mentioned or MV is mentioned, not MA. MV is more better than MV. Now this is a DC, it's an AC. AC, this symbol is AC. So this symbol is AC. AC in milli volt. This is how practically a volt meter looks. This is how practically a volt meter looks. And uh, this is called as scale. This is called as scale. And uh, they may ask you, what is this? What is this? Uh, there will be a mirror to see the reading. And a mirror, see, this particular uh, one needle is called as pointer. The particular one which is going to, that is analog volt meter. Right? In electrical laboratory, you see analog volt meters, not a diesel volt meters, analog meters, or volt meters. In electronics laboratory, you are going to see multimeter with which you can measure resistance, voltage, current, all these things. But here, in electrical laboratory, you are going to take ammeter separately, voltmeter separately, watt meter, watt meter separately, right? This is called as a pointer. This is going to deflect that. So, that reading you have to take uh, carefully to avoid parallax error that is in that mirror when that needle or pointer and its mirror image where those two are getting superimposed on one another in the image. So there in the mirror we are going to see where this needle or pointer and its uh, image both are at the same place. That is the reading we are going to take up. Right? So this way, uh, see, uh, I will tell you there will be some 12 to 20 experiments in basic electrical engineering laboratory. If you are thorough, means if you know about each and everything, hands on all, with you or uh, 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 those all those 20 experiments and then I can say that uh, you are done with your job of uh, preparation for this uh, GOIB from electrical engineering point of view. So this is ammeter in ampers. This is ammeter in ampers. So in the same same symbols, uh, if it is AC or DC, both AC and DC, AC in milli ampers, uh, DC in milli ampers. What is the purpose of ammeter to measure the current? We all know that. We all know that, right? See, uh, those who are from electrical engineering can, uh, and, uh, can understand, electronics engineering can understand these things, but uh, those who are from other kinds of engineering, uh, other than the circuit branches, uh, they may feel, they might forgot, they might forgot uh, these uh, simple basics of experiments, uh, what they conducted in electrical laboratory. So, here, uh, if we, your PDR is going to make you thorough with those, uh, right? Next is uh, water meter. Yeah, water meter is uh, this is the nameplate details of the water meter. Nameplate details. See, every meter is going to have some its nameplate details. What are the nameplate details? It's a rating for how much current it has to be used or how much voltage it has to be used. Suppose it is AC for what frequency, how to do the connection. So, all those things will be clearly mentioned on the nameplate details. Yeah, so what are the single phase water meter is? So, this is used uh, for single phase power measurement. And yeah, this is one of the very good experiments that is uh, in AC, how to measure three phase uh, power uh, if it is balanced or unbalanced with the help of watt meters, how many watt meters are used, how you are going to do the connections, that is also one of the very important experiments, right? So I told you watt meter is going to have four connections, four points, terminals, that is M, L, C and V. So this is M, this is L, this is C, this is V. What, are, what is pressure coil, what is current coil, what is M, what is L, what is C, what is V and how to connect all those things we will see, right? 
uh, we will see. Right? Yeah. Come back. Now this is transformer. This is a symbol which is used to uh, represent transformer. But this this is the practical transformer. See, in electronic laboratory, we will find this kind of small transformers in electronic laboratory. Right? Electrical transformer is very big. Electrical transformer is very big generally. This is a, now uh, if you go to any electronic laboratory or in networks lab, in networks lab, suppose if you want a one is to one transformer in power electronic lab, in power electronic lab or network lab, we are going with one is to one transformer. Maybe uh, in a small structure like this, you can make fun. This is transformer. Right? And uh, yeah, this is motor. This is motor, DC motor. In fact, this is a DC motor. Motor looks like this. Practically, motor looks like this. This is a symbol. This is a symbol. Right? Yeah. See, these are the nameplate details of the motor. Nameplate details of the motor. Nameplate data. It is clearly written. See, engine type, series motor. I have already written DC. There are different types of motors. Series is there, shunt is there, top load is there. Right? And rated voltage, 800 volts. So, this motor rated voltage is 800 volts. And uh, rated power output, 3. Uh, rated power of 3 HP, e, e, even in terms of HP, you may ask you to convert from HP to watts. Yes, one must know how to convert from HP to watts or watts to HP. And rated current is the 3 amps. And uh, rated speed is 800 rpm. 800 rpm means it is going to make uh, 1800 rotations per minute. RPM means 1800 rotations per minute. And uh, power loss, power loss, uh, straight power loss, it is 154.65. And armature resistance is 0 0.05. Series fuel resistance is 0 0.10 and uh, brush voltage is see in DC machine there will be brushes. So brush voltage is 2 and design constant A is equal to 1.2 to the power of minus 7. So in this important are voltage, current, power, voltage, current, power, and speed. Right? So they may ask you, uh, of course, I need I need this much power uh, motor, this much power motor. They, they may demonstrate you some motors, which motor you are going to select. So if you want power, calculate uh, the voltage into current, voltage into current, input power. Right? R of this HP you convert, uh, this HP you convert into watts, then you are going to get that rated power motor. See, this way, see, I, I, will tell you, I will tell you one thing here that question may be from any corner, not a task, not question. Task may be anything, but uh, those tasks may not be out of the bounds of basic electrical engineering laboratory, what you did in your uh, uh, BTEC course. Right? So, if Go through those 20 experiments, uh, I think uh, not more than 20, 20 experiments uh, thoroughly, like uh, 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 verification of all theorems, fluorescent lamp, Flor fluorescent lamp, auto transformer. Yeah, I uh, I I show you auto transformer. This is auto transformer. This is how auto transformer looks. So what is this mean? What is this mean? What is this mean? And uh, what is the purpose of auto transformer? They may ask you uh, in some application, uh, there is a normal transformer and auto transformer, which one you are going to set it? Right? And what is this uh, knob? There, there will be a tick tick knob which is going to arrange, which is going to rotate, rotate according to our requirement. For what requirement, in what direction is going to rotate. They may ask you to do the connections of auto transformer also, they keep it in auto transformer. Right? These are the most equipments you see in basic electrical engineering laboratory. So here we in Europe are going to make you thorough with all the experiments what that are done from electrical engineering laboratory. Thank you.